Richard, may we talk to you and uh, Miss Atkins for a moment? Miss Atkins. Can she talk at all? Uh, she doesn't wish to talk about it now. Are you still her attorney, Richard? What's that? Yes. Uh, what uh, was the conversation about with uh, Charlie? Susan, what did Charles have to say to me? He said I look anything? good. Did he look good, uh, Susan? Sure. He always does. How long did you talk with Are you going to testify uh, at the trial? I don't think that's any of your or anybody else's business. Oh, come on. Back up, fella. What did you agree to today? Mr. Caballero, still your attorney? As of the moment, yes. Do you have plans for later? I have no plans. I don't make plans. I just do what I do. What was Charlie's advice to you today? Charlie doesn't advise. When are you going to see him again? Your guess is as good as mine. Does Charlie command? Charlie does not command anybody to do anything. He never has. Well, what's the outcome of this meeting? It was a pleasant visit. Was that the purpose of the meeting to begin with? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, we're getting an awful lot of guesses. I didn't want it to come out anyway, other than the way it came out. So you're planning to see him again, Susie. I hope so. Mr. Is there any chance that he's going to talk you into uh, representing yourself or getting another attorney? I have no idea about what he's going to talk about. Uh, what do you expect to see when you see Charlie today? He's shaved off his beard. Is he going to look a lot different to you? I've seen him with his beard shaved off. Uh -huh. What do you intend to tell him? I usually don't tell Charlie anything. Well, well if he tells you something, will you listen? I don't expect him to tell me anything. What do you expect the conversation to be about? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, we better go in. Thank you. 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 Uh, Mr. Manson asked to see me, and I'm anxious to see what he has to say. Do you have any idea what you're going to talk about? No, I don't. I never have any idea. Now that all this is over, can we ask you that? How do you feel? Are you relieved or remorseful? Yeah. I don't feel very well. You don't feel very well? No, I don't feel very good at all. Why? No, we don't want to go into that. Have you cried very much? We don't want to go into that. Yeah. What can you tell us? Can you tell us anything about uh, this matter? No, I, all of that uh, will come out in the, before the grand jury, probably, and also in further investigation and talks that we have. Are you physically all right, Miss Atkins? Uh, our request to see doctors and requests have been handled off and on. For what reason have you consulted the doctors? Uh, physical disorder. you have a moment, may yes. we talk to you about Certainly. the young lady here for arraignment. What is your client's name here? True. Susan Atkins. And what? She has aliases? Yes, Sadie Mae Glotz. She's here for arraignment this morning? That is correct. What charges, sir? On murder. And uh, why in Santa Monica? Well, apparently the case, this uh, Hinman case, was uh, originally in the Santa Monica jurisdiction. And so she was charged with this some time ago, and it's her day set for plea today, arraignment and plea. Well, she is also connected with the Tate case, right? So, so they tell me, yes. Hey, did they connect her? Was she at the scene? The police informed me that they believe she was at the scene at, uh, 
at the Tate the murder. Did she know the uh, Tate residents or any of the people that were connected that were killed? No, the information is that uh, no one knew who even lived there and that this was uh, just a house that was uh, apparently picked as some sort of symbol. Under any kind of uh, narcotics or... Well, there's uh, been some evidence that uh, some of them were involved in drugs. However, in her case, I can state that uh, she was just totally dedicated to one man and did whatever he felt was right and whatever he said was wrong is exactly what she would do or follow. Well, I understand there was uh, the word uh, political piggies was written in blood in the Hinman case, that the word... Uh, pig was written in blood on the door in the Tate case and the word um, pigs uh, or somewhat of that nature was also on the LaBianca case and so apparently there's some tie-in in that way. Was your client a participant in the LaBianca killing? The police uh, indicate that the evidence the 